Are you a student struggling to keep up with your assignments, classes, and notes? Imagine having all of that organized in one place, with easy access and no more missed deadlines or lost notes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a student dashboard in Notion that will level up the way you manage your school life. By the end of this video, you'll have a Notion dashboard that will help you stay on top of your game. To begin, we'll create a gallery database for our classes. After naming it and adding an icon, we can add properties to store details about the class or course. You can include a text property for the course code, a text property for the professor name, and a files and media property to embed the syllabus. We also upload a page cover and turn on card preview to show it. Next, we create a calendar database for our assignments. We'll rename date property to track the deadline. And then a formula property to calculate the number of days left until the deadline. We also add a status property to track the progress of our assignments. To link the assignments to their respective classes, we'll add a relation to the class database and toggle it to show on the class page. To display the assignments on each class page, we'll copy the link to the assignment database and create a link view in the class page template. We will choose the board layout and group by status. And add a class filter to show only assignments for that class. We can also toggle to show the due date and the days left properties. To avoid a long list of computer assignments, we will add a filter to not display our computer assignments. Instead, we we'll duplicate this view and change the layout to a list view. And then update the filter to show only completed assignments. Since now we have our assignment views, we can choose to show the assignment property as minimal. We can now go back to the course page we created earlier and apply this template to populate the assignment tracker. This assignment view is where you can also add quizzes exams and presentations or any deadlines related to your school life. Now let's move on to our notes database. We'll create a table view and hide the vertical lines to keep it minimal. It's helpful to use the select property for topics. And add a status property to track our mastery of the note from not started to normal good and hard. We also add a date property to show our last review date. And a formula property to show the number of days since our last review. Lastly, we can include a files and media property to embed any related materials and a URL property for the same reason.
we can take down lecture notes in bulleted points or paragraphs at the top, and then use toggle blocks to create questions and answers. Once we have attempted a question, we can color code the background by red if we got it wrong, or green if we got it right, and anything else in between. To link the notes to the respective classes, we'll add a relation property as we did for the assignments database. Then we'll copy the link to this database. And create a link view in the class page template we created earlier on. We'll then add a filter to show only the notes from that class. We can number our notes and add a sorting for the name in the ascending order to keep them organized. Lastly, we'll show the notes property as minimal, and this class template is ready to go. We can go back to the math page, delete the page content, and reapply the template to see both the assignment and notes database. On the home page, we can add a grouping for the notes database to group by the classes. I hope you found this video helpful and you can now better use Notion to take control of your academic life and stay on top of your deadlines. You can also download the Notion template below to get started right away. Keep learning and stay organized. Fearless.